It's time for State of Play, and it is to this man here, Deli Ali. Let's go into more detail on him. The Everton midfielder is in talks with Besiktas with a view to moving to the Turkish club. The deal could be a loan, it could be a permanent move, depending on how talks progress. Ali is desperate for more game time after mostly being used from the bench since joining Everton. Right, Mark, with Deli Ali, why hasn't it worked out yet at Goodison Park? The curious case of, of Deli Ali, once dubbed the, the future of English football, linked with Manchester United and was the first name on the team sheet at Tottenham. It's almost a little bit disappointing and upsetting to see the trajectory of his career that's just gone in a, a spiralling direction because there was so much promise there. Since joining Everton on deadline day in January, he's just made one start under Frank Lampard, who of course joined on deadline day as well. Uh, that was against Arsenal on the final day of last season. He's played just 13 times in total and is yet to find the back of the net. I think really the only person you could ask why, why things aren't going so well is, is Deli Alley. Um, you just feel for him because you just, you know, you just felt like he wasn't a happy player at Tottenham. He knew needed a fresh start. He needed a new opportunity. He needed just perhaps a little bit of love from yeah. from his teammates and his manager. You thought he might get that at Everton, but it just hasn't worked out, has it? I wonder what the Everton fans think about this. Actually, get in touch. Hashtag transfer talk. Kyle, what did Lampard and Ali have to say when he signed? Because I remember there being quite a bit of an excite uh, excitement. Definitely, and Mark's just touched on the excitement and the fresh chapter possibly for Deli Ali. And wanted to focus on some of his comments on working with Frank Lampard, obviously a legend, you can say, of the Premier League. He said, I've had a few good conversations with him already, meaning Lampard. He's a player I admired throughout his whole career watching him. I'm pleased to work with him. It's very exciting. I'm sure we can do some great things together. Also, he then went on to say, I just want to be happy playing football. Working with Lampard and the great players Everton have got is a great opportunity for me to do that. I'm excited to go there, show the fans what I can do and help the club as much as I can. And I think it would be great just to reiterate how much of a shame this is that it's not worked out just yet, as you said, because there was so much excitement, I think, for Deli Ali to have that fresh start, that new chapter, to move to another club, because over the years, this was a youngster that, that really learnt his trade. He dropped down and he's had plenty of moves and really worked hard to ensure that he, he knows how to play and he, he's really developing his game. But then it just didn't quite work out under some managers at Tottenham. And then he moves on under Frank Lampard a new exciting opportunity for him and again it seems to have not worked out he's not had the game time to to make it work as well which I think is a, a point we should make that 13 appearances for Everton one start as you said Mark there has he been given an actual opportunity to showcase his talent maybe not yet so a move away a move away from England it could be a great chance for him to do that and to actually get some football. How many times do we talk about a player going out and getting some minutes? Yes, he's a bit older than some players that would go out and normally do that, but this is a chance for him to maybe hit the level that he wants to and once again to just be happy playing football. Yeah, you're talking about questions there. You know, question you have to question Deli Ali, of course. But I think you've got to question Frank Lampard as well. He has signed him and has not started him at all. Obviously there's a question after that is why is he not picking him? And he goes to Besiktas, the same question of course that that's how it works. The manager picks an eleven. But for him to go there and you say eleven uh, apps last season, just one start, and that's three point eight ninety. So not not getting the minutes. If you don't get the minutes, then you can't succeed any club so I could understand his frustration in terms of wanting to move but I think I'd like to know what Frank Lampard feels about this one as well. I think Frank Lampard was in a situation where he joined Everton on deadline day and he had what 12 hours to try and sign players and no opportunity to really kind of express himself within the market and and say to the, the board at Everton these are the players I want it was just a case of I have to take what's available and I think he probably looked at Deli Alley from a few years ago and well and thought well if I can get that player back to Everton then we've got a real player on our hands and obviously they haven't been able to do that as of yet. I think Frank Lampard would, would pick, if Deli Ali was the best player in training, would he be starting games for Everton? 100%. Yeah, the, the, the finances of the deal are a little bit more complicated than, than usual, Mark. Can you just explain them from when he made this move? Now, this actually has been a good deal for Everton financially because essentially he joined, joined them on a free transfer. So he didn't cost Everton anything up front other than Deli Ali's wages. However, if Deli Ali was to play 20 games 
then Everton would be due to pay Tottenham £10 million. If he played 40 games, they would be then due to pay another £10 million, up until 80 appearances, which would be a total package of £40 million due to Tottenham. At the moment, he's nowhere near the 20 appearances, so Everton don't have to pay any money for him, which suits them. However, if he was to move on, if they were to sell him, if there was any fees potentially due to Everton for a, for a loan fee or, or any kind of sale with regards to Deli Alley, then Tottenham would be due 25%. So a free rising to 40 million that is yeah, i've never heard that that one before but uh, yeah interesting that uh, up front i know that deli ali isn't, isn't a striker but what are their options up front at the moment everton i mean it's it's pretty bleak when you kind of when you look into it especially with the the, the interest from chelsea to anthony gordon as well if that was another player that that made way because you know, last season, Richarlison was top scorer with, with 10 goals. He has, of course, left. Um, Gordon scored four. Cavalloon scored five. Um, Damari Gray scored five. Rondon scored one. So in terms of central strikers who are fit and available right now, you've got Rondon, who scored one goal last season. Younger players, Ellis uh, Sims has gone to Sunderland on loan. Nathan Broadhead's gone to Wigan. Uh, Cenk tossen has gone to Besiktas uh, in the summer as well. So very few options when it comes to, to strikers. Uh, so regardless of Gordon going or not, a central striker is, is what they need quite badly, to be honest, at this moment in time. Mm, it, it does appear that Kyle that Everton are in the market for new signings regardless, but especially up front. Yeah, I mean, attacking players, if you look at what they managed last season, there was so much focus on them going towards that final day and the final game of the season, obviously managing to finish 16th and four points clear in the end. But it's quite interesting. Everyone was focusing on how many games that they'd lost and the amount of goals they'd conceded. But actually looking at the goals that they scored last season, 43 in total, that was 13th out of 20 Premier League clubs. So their points total and where they finished in the league doesn't reflect actually how many goals they were scoring so this season they have to ensure that which they've already done that they're shoring up the defense and making sure that's stronger but how can they score more goals as well as you mentioned there the plays they've already lost Richarlison he's gone across to Tottenham and for him that that, that move looks like a positive one for him but why haven't Everton maybe looked at replacements we've talked about them over the years the amount of money they've actually spent well now <coughs> it feels like they've not got the ability to do that and they can't identify the right players and unfortunately with the injury crisis they're going through all over the pitch and all over the squad and to Dominic Calvert-Lewin as well things don't look too good for them mm, okay yeah quite a few people uh, quite a lot of Everton fans uh, uh, getting in touch uh, with this one as well, actually, just kind of wishing Deli Ali the best, actually, kind of a little bit upset that it hasn't worked out as yet. But of course, there is still time. This deal is not being done yet. Right.